Let's begin introducing the Hamilton Khaki Automatic Chronograph, also known as the Jack Ryan Chronograph. This one is from the Amazon Prime series, Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan. I really enjoyed the series. Me and my wife watched it and I haven't watched season two. I know I'm late to the party. However, you know how it is guys, you gotta wait for your wife before you can watch anything. Even if you have the time, if they're busy, you know your schedules, they have to line up so haven't seen season two yet can't wait really enjoyed season one this one is special because it's from both seasons anytime you have a watch that's been in a movie or in a series it adds a little bit of x factor to the watch that's what this watch does have it's completely stealthed out covert operations completely brushed all black pvd coated so it's going to be durable but actually i lied there's a high polish little chamfer right at the bottom right it's so hard to catch right there see it and a high polished bezel okay other than that completely brushed and it looks gorgeous i love the stealthed out look here it just works so well two sub dials one at 12 one at six and there is no running seconds which is a big ding for me so let's turn on that chronograph cam pushers value base 7750 this one is a thick one. The movement itself is basically 8 mil, 7.9. So that's a thick one and it's an integrated chronograph. So don't think only integrated chronographs are the thin ones, like the JLC at five and a half. The modular chronograph from ETA 2894 is about a mil and a half thinner. That's something to keep in mind, but it wears great. We're gonna see it on my wrist at the end of the video. These are the measurements that I got, 42.2 in diameter, 14.6 in thickness. We have a signed Hamilton crown and it is screw down 100 meters of water resistance and a lug to lug of 50.4, but it's actually short for Hamilton. <laughs> like this Hamilton is same size 42 basically. And it has a longer reach as you can see. The strap is 20 mils and it does not taper. Okay, and it's canvas style. It's very nice. It's soft. Usually these canvas are thick and there is leather lining inside ultra comfortable and look at that buckle that pin buckle. It's got the H. That's so cool. The case back is sapphire and see through. You can see that beautiful movement. Very complex. The watch uses cam pushers still has a nice mechanical click, but not as crispy with a column wheel chronograph. And it is a horizontal clutch. So you're gonna get a little bit of a mashing of the gears when it engages and disengages. For longevity, vertical clutch is better reliability, but it's not a deal breaker. These are still tough movements. The values are tanks. Now the dial and hands, we have beautiful concentric circles on that outer sector, but look at that nine Arabic. It is larger than all the other Arabics. And it's a nice gray color, so very stealthy, but I wish it was the same size because no other Arabic is that size. It makes no sense to have the nine larger than the rest. We do have a blacked out day date window. Very nice. At 12 o'clock, we have the 30 minute sub dial. And at six o'clock, we have the 12 hour sub dial. The Hamilton applied logo and name is to the right of the pinion. We do have applied indice loom pips near that chapter ring. And the chapter ring has Arabics at those indices and the rest are hash marks overall it's a busy look now the price this one can be had for 17.95 usd for an integrated chronograph from a brand like hamilton 1892 definitely a fair price here it is on my six and a half inch wrist the legibility is another weakness to this watch because of that stealthed out tactical look it's hard to read the time at a glance the studio lights helping out dramatically but if you're wearing this in a more dim setting, you're definitely going to have a little bit of legibility issues. Overall, it looks fantastic. Let's do the weight. 113 grams. That is a little bit surprising. It felt heavier on my wrist. 
Okay, let's check her out on the time grapher. We have the Hamilton H21 ETA based Valju 7750, 28.8 VPH, you can hear that medium beat, hack henwine automatic, 25 joules, 60 hours of power reserve, horizontal clutch can pushers. Wow, good numbers and powerful amplitude at 300. Fourth and final round, plus four. Okay, now we're gonna do 12 down to see the positional variance, how it's gonna react on your wrist. Strong amplitude drop from, what was it, 311 to 288? Actually not bad, but the B error got better. It's now 0, 0.0, wow. And look at the rate. Positional variance, very nice. Almost the same, yes it is. Plus five, plus four, plus four in the fourth and final round, plus four. Wow, excellent. Okay, there is the loom shot. You can see the applied pip indices and the grade loom hour and minute hand. Typical Hamilton loom. I'm gonna say it's weak loom. I feel like I'm saying so many negatives. <laughs> so the Hamilton khaki chronograph, it does have a couple more negatives than I thought. <laughs> The ultra thick case, no AR coding, cam pushers, legibility is questionable, loom, not great at all. However, we buy watches because of X Factor, how they make us feel, and I know a lot of people are gonna get this based on just the TV series. It's a great watch. All my negatives were nitpicks. They're definitely not deal breakers. They're all nitpicks. So let me hear your thoughts and opinions on this beautiful tactical chronograph. And if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.